Just gonna do a quick video of my trailer. This is sitting in my garage. This is a 4x8 Express trailer, model year 2014. I paid $1,400 for it, brand new. This is back door, side door. I'm running the air conditioner right now. You can see it exhausting. There's a drip pan catching the condensation from the drain valve through the floor of the trailer just so I can run it in my garage. I updated it. I enter through this side door. This is the bed. This is the air conditioner control on the side of the bed. The bed is three separate foam pads that fold up and can be stacked up onto this new shelf I installed here. There's eight feet of interior space. Uh, that's a tub that's used for showering. There's a stool that's used for showering. This is a portable hot water heater by uh, Zodi Outback. It uses a camp stove with a propane tank that I have in the crate. That pan can also be used on the camp stove with the propane tank. So once you take the shower, the tub catches the water, you then drain into the oversized oil, sealed oil pan. It's 24 quarts. It, it, it will hold as much as I can put into it. I've spent five nights in a row in this trailer twice two months ago. Uh, the air conditioner is on. My little generator will run this entire setup. Um, it's fully self-contained, 9 hours, actually about 9 to 12 hours on one gallon of gas on my silent generator. AC blasting. Cold. Um, I also have a space heater, an electric space heater, um, stored in the bottom of that crate. Uh, the space heater will also run about 8 hours on a gallon of gas. Um, at the same time, through that power strip, um, you're charging your cell phone, you're running any other necessary equipment. I have an electric light up there, that's an old mechanics light. I have a battery light up here. Uh, this is my bathroom. I have uh, just sealed toiletries and actually money that fell out of my pocket in there. Uh, there's a mirror up here in case you need to get a quick shave. <laughs> um, but that's about it. You close the door, you're all sealed up in here. Uh, another new addition I've added is that chair. Um, it occurred to me I could actually have a normal chair in here, so I have the fold-up chair and can sit out around the campfire at the art festivals. So with the shelf that I installed, it's holding the tub, but what I've realized is it has this really large cavity. I can now use it to store my suitcase, my luggage, and I can put the pillows up here if I want to switch it into shower mode. Um, the pillows will lay across these two bars that I installed. So this is mosquito netting across the back in case I want to open it up and like fully ventilate. I'm going to buy a fantastic fan for this soon. I'm either going to mount it in the ceiling or I'm going to mount it in the wall. But uh, that's what's going on with my trailer. Bye.